13,000 motorists have been wrongly fined for using a bus lane in Coventry, with the councils not planning to tell them. A tribunal ruled that the £30 fine shouldn't have been issued because warning signs were inadequate. The drivers are now entitled to a refund, but councillors decided not to waste public money by informing them. Joan Cummins reports. 13,282 motorists ignored warnings about bus gate signs and lanes between December and April this year in various locations across Coventry. They were fined a total of £400,000, but a technical loophole means those fines are invalid and now the Labour Control Council says they're not wasting cash telling individuals. It would cost £8,500 in first-class stamps to let everybody know that they could have a rebate. The council say they're not prepared to do this because the motorists shouldn't have been in the bus gate in the first place. I've got to balance the fact that pe some people have done the wrong thing because they did do the wrong thing with actually whether or not I should be spending the taxpayers' money writing to them saying that under a technicality they could have a refund. It's the morally right thing not to drive into a bus gate when you can actually cause uh, danger to yourself or to other people. The signage for the bus gates was and is correct, but a clerical error by the Department of Transport means motorists do have the right to a refund. Opposition councillors say it's wrong that people aren't being informed directly. Well, they're being reasonable in the fact that they have admitted a mistake. And they're being reasonable in the fact that if you're a resident, you can apply to have your money back. But that's as far as it goes. What they're not being reasonable in is allowing residents to know they're owed money. 400 people have applied for a rebate, but today Coventrians were insisting the council should do the right thing and tell people. They should definitely tell them that they've been incorrectly fined and pay them the money back. I would count it as sort of stealing or taking advantage of... Um, knowledge that the public doesn't have. I think it's totally wrong that they're just finding people and just not telling them. Yes. Give them the money back. This is not right. It's not fair. What do we do? We just stand by and let these things happen. You're out of pocket. They're not. The council say the fines were issued in good faith and anyone who doesn't claim a refund can be reassured that the money will be used to maintain road safety in the city. Well, you've been having your say on this over on our Facebook page. Richard Jenner Jones says, I was caught last year on a dark December evening. The signage wasn't easily visible or illuminated. As a result of the fine, I have actively avoided the city centre. Paul Biggs added, disgraceful. The warning signs are in the wrong place. Drivers should be refunded. But John Birch disagrees, putting his point quite simply, shouldn't need any warning signs anyway. Just don't drive in a bus lane unless you're a taxi, bus or motorbike. Well, thanks for all your comments and actually Joan Co Cummins is in Coventry for us tonight so Joan if people think they've been unfairly fined what can they do well basically it's a very narrow window between December 2015 April 2016 if you received a fine for being in those bus gates then you have the right to apply for a refund the council say they'll accept emails they'll accept letters but what they're not going to do is spend eight and a half thousand pounds of public money on first-class stamps saying to people you have the right to appeal they're saying basically if you hadn't done anything wrong in the first place then you wouldn't have been fined Joan thank you now in the last